sites, 32 through 136. Try to get a lot of them. Campground review, Portage Lake State Park. It's like $38 total for one night here at this park. They do reservations six months out. This is not as labeled as well. What's the site number? 32. 32. Uh, I'm just doing a, just kind of going through the whole park. <laughs> nice big camper on 32. Pretty flat. Oh, here comes some numbers on the streets. There's 33. 33 is fairly flat. Could make it work. Great big spot. Nice and deep. Fire pit kind of on the wrong side. It'd be on the back side of the... There's 34. A uh, little issue with... Big issue, actually, with levelness if you're trying to have the awning on the fire pit side. 35, not very level. Big and wide, 36. Little issue coming off the road. Once you got over that, it looks pretty flat. Their little camper seems to be all right. 37, pretty big site. That's probably a high 20s camper. And they got it in back and it's pretty flat. Odd place for the fire pit in front of the camper. Big tree on the back side. 38, pretty unlevel, but there's a flatter spot on the other side if you want your fire pit on the wrong side. 39, tree in the middle of it, very unlevel. 39. 40, dips down into a hole. A tent or a small camper might fit on that. Forty one's a nice big site we could get a decent sized camper on with a flat spot, little hole in front of the fire pit. Forty two, smaller camper, no problem. Forty three, shorter camper, pretty level. Forty four, shorter camper, not too bad. Good and wide site, but not real deep. 45, has a fifth wheel on it now, kind of a shorter fifth wheel, but one could go in there fairly longer, 46, real big sight, pretty level, 47, not too bad, it's just kind of a pointy sight, but not too bad on level. 48 is this way. Another bathroom. Some nice newer bathrooms here. Good size bod, little issue with leveling. Actually pretty bad in the back corner. Crowded up by the pit. Looks like it just rained and there's no standing water, but could be an issue if you got a lot of rain. 49 is a padded spot. It's a handicapped spot. Um, a little off with the leveling. Looks like they got at least four inches of extra level in there. Same thing with uh, 51. It's a handicapped spot, big pad, nice spot, but looks like the front's a little low. 50, I don't know, like a 24 foot camper in there. Could definitely be longer and it's plenty wide enough to park the truck next to it. 12 turtle crossing. 52, oh boy, that's, Got overhead clearance issues. Uh, maybe get a smaller, shorter trailer in there. Some roots in the middle of it. The fire pit right smack in the middle of the site. Don't know why they do that. 53. 
Um, large spot, but oh, it's a monster big spot. Uh, looks like the level spot is pretty deep in there. That pop-up did a good job with it. Even a longer camper would be fine. 54, really unlevel. Just a little camp spot. Maybe a small camper could get fairly level on the side. 55, good size camper under now. Could have been longer. Little issue with tree clearance if you had a taller fifth wheel. But way deep sight. Really nice and deep. 56, way level. I would not be happy if I had booked that site. 56. 57 looks pretty nice. Kind of sandy. It's a big site. It's a tree kind of in the middle of it, but the site's so wide that you could probably be on either side of it with your camper and still be all right. 58 is similar to 56. Would not be great for leveling. 59. Looks nice. They've got a smaller camper on it. Seems to be doing well. 60, another one, unbelievably leveled. 61, nice big sight. Good and wide also. 62, getting a little better with our level. Could definitely a level spot there for probably uh, up to a 35 foot camper. 63, not bad. Grass is real nice. 64, could make that work too, not too crazy on the leveling. 65, medium sized camper, pretty wide. 66, um, yeah, you could get a decent sized camper over here and you got like three major big trees on your lot. That'd be great for shade, but you could probably easily get a 35 foot camper in there. 67, right in the middle of the site is a big old drain pit and it is deep. If you backed your trailer into that, you're gonna have issues. You could probably get your trailer in over here on the other side of the lot because it is wide. A little bit of leveling problems there too. 68, same thing, there's big drain, but there's room if you came in backwards to get it in on the other side. 69, middle of the site is decent, not great for leveling. 70 is okay, that's pretty bad actually. I don't know how you would get, you'd have to crowd the fire pit to make anything work. 71. Slopes off bad, but it's super wide, and I think you could be parked on the top side of it, which is way up here by this other people's tent that's here now, and then you'd have a big site looking down the hill. 72 is our current site. It goes all the way from back behind the truck, so it's a big spot, plenty of room to park. Our daughter had a tent here the other night where the car is, and then it goes all the way to the corner great for people watching we didn't have a campfire because our folks are staying here down the street and they we had to there so we weren't concerned about the fire pit being so close but it's been a nice high drive spot